Well, hello there, my fellow Minecraft friends, and welcome to a very special episode of Survival Minecraft from the Rocketcraft server. I am your host, Mojo Roberts 2600, aka the Dude of Minecraft, and I'm rocking my Lebowski skin. I'm wearing the uh, ugly cardigan because it's Christmas time, everybody, and you know what that means. I'm chilling here in my little room I've constructed with a cozy fireplace, starry night painting, and I've got my three wise wandering traders for decorations up there. Uh, but I've got plans for some big time decorations coming up in this episode. So get yourself a snack, a nice cold adult beverage that rhymes with slight cussing, and join me as I head on out to the Winter Wonderland area. I've been told there won't be any cussing. Not, not even slightly. Alright, let's go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are out here in the Winter Wonderland, where I will be living, working, and staying over the next uh, little while at least. The Winter Wonderland is a community build area where several of the community members will be coming here and each doing a project. Uh, I jumped in early because I've got a project in mind already, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is just kind of setting up shop. I'm going to be doing a little bit of terraforming. I'll get out my awesome tools here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to build a little bit of a house, and uh, after I get done with that, I'm going to start the big time project for the episode. And I'm really excited to be getting in on this early. I had a project in mind, and I wanted to uh, make sure that I was the one that got to do it. So I'm looking around. There's not much here. There's a big there's a big lodge going up over there, I believe, being built by Tricky Ricky. And I believe this is Cherry's house down here. But yeah, I'm here early, and I'm looking to get started. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, I've skipped ahead to where I've got a giant circle laid out on the ground with a wonderful snowflake pattern built onto it that's never going to be seen because atop this spot, as I placed the wrong blocks, let me use the correct blocks, is going to be a redstone lighted electric Christmas tree. Oh yeah, baby. We are getting into the Christmas spirit. I don't want to say what that looks like over there. Uh, somebody started building something over there, but it doesn't look very festive. I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. And there in the background, you can see my modest little home away from home here in the Winter Wonderland. But yeah, I'm going to lay out a bunch of slabs here and uh, redstone lamps. I have just a ton of them. I'm trying to get a pattern here, which I will sort of continue towards the top and shrink as I go. And I will come over here and just give you a kind of a, a view up because that's where this is going. From way down here to all the way up there, we've got some work to do. I'm back after a little bit more work, and as you can see, I'm getting up there, about a third of the way up. But I can't, I can't resist. I have to show you this. Just plop down a piece of redstone right here. I have a torch under there, and yeah, demonstrate the redstone skills. I've got lights going all the way to the top of where I've built so far. And as I head up the scaffold here, you can see I've got all kinds of repeaters running and dust everywhere all powering the different sections of the redstone tree. So you're getting a really good look at the blood and guts of this Christ blood and guts of this Christmas tree. Let me think about that line. The blood and guts. Yes, we're laying down some more blood and guts of this bloody Christmas tree and just running the redstone out on each one of these legs and as you can see it kind of tapers as it comes up here. And if I do this correctly, 99.9% .9 of this you will never ever see because it's going to be wrapped in leaves and look like a tree, but we want the lights to shine through. And as I look around in the Winter Wonderland area here, I see that more people are working and completing their builds, and there's a lot more things happening around here. Good stuff. All right, everybody, I've got the tree done, and uh, I've done a little bit more landscaping, and I'm trailing around this stupid buddy. Come on, guy. We got snow to spread here. You've got a job to do, but there's our Christmas tree looking just lovely and wonderful. And, uh, yeah, the next step is going to be wrapping this thing in leaves. But uh, I've got some stuff to take care of in the real world here, and I'm going to be taking a day off. So I'm just trying to get this guy to get some snow around here. It hardly ever snows out in the Winter Wonderland area, so you do a little bit of landscaping, and then you got to wait for, like, six years for it to snow. But as I take flight here, you can see it's just massive. It is super-powered. It is a super-powered electric-lighted redstone Christmas tree. And yeah, I'm feeling really good about this project as I perch atop my house and give you a better view. Now that thing over there is starting to take shape. Spoiler alerts. It looks like something cool is going up over there. But ladies and gents, I'm going to take off for now and get back at this tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day in real life. And uh, it's the next day in Minecraft also. 
So I'm going to get myself prepared. I'm going to be heading downstairs here, but as I look out my bedroom window, I got a nice view of the tree. This is my little workshop house that I'm living out of at the moment. But yeah, I'm, as I just look at it more and more, I'm just more and more excited. I can't wait for this thing to be done. And hey, you're supposed to be putting snow out there, dummy. Not here. Uh, let me just demonstrate the switch here. As you can see, everything goes off as it should. There's no redstone hang-ups at the top. Everything's looking pretty sweet. And I'm going to put the lights back on now because I want the lights on while I'm doing my project. It makes me feel good to see the Christmas lights, you know? And uh, pay no attention to the cameraman over there. But I'm going to get started wrapping this tree in leaves and get to a time lapse. You guys enjoy the Christmas music. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. That is a Let It Snow remix by DJ Quads. DJ Quads is also responsible for the normal intro outro music that I feature on my videos. So go on over and check out DJ Quads. He's pretty sick. And uh, it's demonstration time. I've got to show you. I've got the tree all done. I've got my redstone switches all wired up. And uh, Christmas tree light control. Don't look at that other one. Don't look over there. But I'll show you right now that the lights are on. Let me in my house. Let me in my house. And uh, this switch controls the on off. So as I flip that switch, you could see, oh yeah, lights go out all the way to the top. Everything's working nicely. Had a back on inside. I'm gonna flip this switch on again, just to show you that the everything is working and we do have the on off switch functionality going on here. And uh, here we go. Now this is the special one. This is the one that you're gonna be like, wow. All right, so check this out. Twinkle lights. Left switch on, right switch down. We're going to go outside. We've got some psychedelic twinkle Christmas tree lights going on here. And it is looking awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this thing. This is exactly what I was going for. And you guys stop shooting at me. I've got a little gingerbread uh, walkway here. As you can see, there's more stuff going up around here. But look at this thing. Look at the amazingness. Yeah. Merry Christmas, my nerds. Ah, you're back. Well, good to see you again. Did you guys enjoy the Christmas tree mega build? I thought you might. I'm just sitting here with my dog and my Bob Ross painting. I'm enjoying some cookies on the couch, just relaxing, you know, staying by the warmth of the fire. It is Christmas time. But the dude does understand that not everyone does celebrate Christmas, so I've got a little something for the rest of us. And if you can't tell from that one line, then maybe you don't know. 
But yeah, let me just continue stuffing my face while I try to talk. Talking with my mouth full. Something for the rest of us. Let's go. Outside my base and up on a hill, I've constructed a traditional Festivus pole. That's right. We're celebrating Festivus here also on the Rocket Crap server. Uh, I, I'm probably, I'm guessing here, but I'm going to say that this is probably the first Festivus poll in the history of Rocket Crap. Uh, I might be wrong, I'll look that up. But I'm going to enjoy my traditional meal of meatloaf around the Festivus poll because you don't mess with traditions. And the next step to celebrating Festivus is the airing of grievances. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to think about this for a minute. And uh, I'm going to jump up on my little soapbox and uh, declare my grievances. Christmas time is magical when you're a child, and quite overwhelming when you're grown. Over the course of the season, some players have faded away from playing on the server, and while some new players have stepped up, I can't help but be a little bit sad that some of the all-stars of the group have been absent. Hopefully after the new year, we'll see some of them return, and if they don't, I will still wish them all the best in whatever they do. With love, from the dude. Alright, good. The next step in celebrating Festivus is feats of strength. So, I've decided I'm going to drop all my tools and everything into this shulker box. I am going to save just my Festivus meatloaf and a potion of regeneration. And I'm also going to remove my armor items here. Because we're going to go get in a fight on Festivus. That's right. Uh, sometimes people get in fights on the holidays. and It happens. But, uh... Yeah, feats of strength. I am going to go find a monster and punch it really hard. Right in their stupid face. Ow. I found some buddies here and we're going to have a fight. If I can get these guys to climb out of here. Come on, boys. Come on, fellers. Come on, you can do it. All right. Yeah, I think there's about four of them down there. So let's get into the feats of strength. <laughs> Looks like you're the last guy left. What are we going to do? Oh, you're wearing gold armor, but I still don't think you could take me. I gotcha. That's right. Due to Minecraft wins again, undefeated, well, maybe not. Feats of strength are completed against overwhelming odds. It is a festivist miracle, everybody. There you have it, my friends. Our festivist traditions are complete. Our Christmas tree has been built. We've been relaxing by the fire, enjoying our cookies and milk. And, uh, yeah, we're not done yet. I've got one more thing I want to do in this video. And that is to head back out to the Winter Wonderland area. It's been a while since I spent some time there. As I said, I jumped on building the tree early. And a lot of other players have been doing some things. So let's get headed out there. I want to see what everyone else has been building. And I'm really excited to see how the Winter Wonderland area has progressed. So, put on your snow boots and follow me. Heading far down the eastern tunnel out of the main nether hub here on Rocketcraft, and you encounter the Winter Wonderland area. And as you can see, somebody's been at work. Yeah, there's been a lot of people doing a lot of things down here, I feel. Look at Mr. Shard and his family. Go Arctic Foxes. That's pretty slick. I like that. Nice little display. Let's get through here. A large mountain looms in front of the gift that is the nether portal for the area. And as you can see, we've got a Grinch here. Of course, there's always going to be a Grinch. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, whatchamacallit, Mountain from the Grinch up there. So, yeah, let's just have a look. we got a nice little Santa Claus over here. And this is the Secret Santa area, which I've already participated in. And I just want to give you a view of some different things. Look at this little baby zombie riding a sleigh. That is a great snowman. That snowman was started the last time I was here. Not to this level of completeness. Very well done. Spheres are always so tough. Very good job, whoever did that. Loving it, loving it. Let's keep going. We got like a snow globe house going on here. That's pretty cool. Little igloo, little uh, Enderman holding a gift on Christmas. How about that? All right, I like this. This is really cool. It's an actual gingerbread house. It's a it's a gingerbread man that's been made into a house. He's sitting here chilling, little window inside. That's awesome. Oh, and there's the beauty there. There she is. Oh, beauties. And uh, what's this? 
This, I'm, this is cooler than what I was just looking at. This is way cool. Look at this. Somebody's built like a little candy gumdrop house over here. Loving it. Loving it. I see a bell. I can't resist. I have to get over here. What's it? Nope. Wrong way. This way. Yeah. Can't resist that. Ever. A little Coca-Cola truck over there. And the Polar Express. Check this out. Someone's been hard at work building the Polar Express. Oh, and look at this. Look at all the gifts that have, have appeared under my tree. Isn't that amazing? They're not all for me, though. They're for the community. Yes, all the participants of the Secret Santa have gone ahead and dropped their gifts here and built little packages around them. And what's this? There's shulker, shulker boxes all over. And check out all these ornaments. Uh, DJ Haribo was on a live stream a few nights ago, and he had put all these mini blocks all the way to the top of the tree. Looks like ornaments. Just fantastic. It was uh, it was an idea that I had, had asked for, but he'd gone ahead and done it. It's just fantastic. I love it. Great job. And who's this for? Oh, the hex from Santa. What are these signs? Ah, shafted claws. Shaft! Looks like Shaft was leaving gifts for everybody under the tree. Excellent. The spirit of giving is alive and well here in Rocket Craft. I'm loving every minute of it. And check out the ornaments going up this side. So cool. And these gifts, they just they just keep going. They go on and on all around the tree, all the way around the tree. Amazing. I'm loving this community. I'm loving the way everyone's come together. And there's been so much hard work done in this area. And a lot of fun, too. So good. Just, I'm amazed. I am I'm so proud that this was just a, a, a muddy spot up on a hill. And now it's all of this. Well, my friends, that's all I've got time for. And if you stuck it out to the end of the video, I do appreciate you checking me out. Go ahead and leave me a like and a subscribe if you would. That really helps the channel out. And uh, I will be back next year with more episodes of Rocket Craft. This is Mojo Roberts, the dude of Minecraft, saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year.